probably the most miraculous year in science ends in silence. The articles are published to resounding nothing. I think the gods are laughing at me. Then slowly, it starts. A letter here, a letter there. For four years, Einstein answered each inquiry dutifully, trying to explain his difficult, complex ideas to a confused physics community. I love the idea that life just went on as normal. Here are these universe-changing papers circling around, and the world is struggling to come to terms with them. Einstein had a fan club of just one. Luckily, it happened to be the most important living physicist. Einstein. Einstein. Max Planck has sent someone to see you. Max Planck? Yes. He has sent his assistant. He's here to see you. Max Planck encourages the world's most eminent physicists to take Einstein seriously. After four years of waiting, he is appointed professor of physics at Zurich University. From there, his career is meteoric. He is made professor of physics in Berlin, achieves world renown, and becomes a household name. He is the undisputed father of modern physics. But Einstein's success was the downfall of his marriage. In 1919, he divorced Mileva and married his cousin. His fame led to numerous affairs. E equals MC squared became the holy grail of science. It held out the promise of vast reserves of energy locked deep inside the atom. Einstein suspected that it would take a hundred years of research to unlock it, but he hadn't banked on the Second World War and the genius of a Jewish woman in Hitler's Germany. Twenty-eight-year-old Austrian Lisa Meitner was painfully shy. Despite her anxiety, the young doctor of physics arrived in Berlin determined to pursue a career in the exciting new field of radioactivity. Unfortunately, in 1907, German universities did not employ female graduates. Luckily, one man came to her aid. Fräulein Meitner. Yes? Otto Hahn. I'm a researcher in the Chemistry Institute. Professor Planck suggested I... Herr Hahn, I have read your papers on thorium and on mesothorium, and uh. Dr. Planck suggested that Yes, I, he suggested I... that I speak with you. I need someone to collaborate with. I think I could really help with the physical analysis. And the mathematics. Yes, yes. And the mathematics. Studying radioactive atoms has become so much a collaboration between chemistry and physics these days. Yes, yes. I'll ask Fischer for a laboratory then. Oh, excellent. A 
I'll speak to you soon. Lisa Meitner had just taken the first step on a journey that would irrevocably change world history. For her, it would be a road marked with success and renown, but also with terror and betrayal. At this time, not a lot was known about the atom. At first, people thought it was uh, like a miniature solar system. There was a solid nucleus at the center, and electrons would spin around it, sort of like, um, like planets around our sun. A little later, some researchers proposed that the nucleus itself wasn't a solid chunk, but is made up of separate particles of protons and neutrons. But then, in what are called radioactive metals, things like radium and uranium, the nucleus itself seemed to be unstable, leaking out energy and particles. Perhaps this was an example of e equals mc squared, the mass of a nucleus turning into energy. Meitner and Hahn's collaboration to unlock the secrets of the atom started out on an extremely unequal footing. He was given a laboratory. She was forced to work in a wood shop. I see you haven't set your hair on fire. Herr Hahn? The boss, he thinks that if he lets women into the chemistry institute, they'll set their hair on fire. Oh, so his beard must be fireproof. <laughs> Good day, Herr Hahn. Good day. You see, I am non-existent to this place. At least physicists recognize me for my abilities. Yes, where would we chemists be without the steadying hand of the physicist? It took years, uh, but Lisa lost her shyness eventually. In 1912, she and Hahn moved to the brand new Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Chemistry, where the status was really that of equals. Lisa became the first woman in Germany ever to have the title of professor. Lisa, I have news. Remember the art student I told you of? Yes, Edith. Yes, well, I have um, asked her to marry me, and she has accepted. Oh, well, Dr. Hahn, congratulations. Yes, well. I wanted you to be the first to know. Oh, I'm very pleased for you. Very pleased. Lisa Meitner was warm-hearted by nature. She had many friends, and she may have wanted to have a closer relationship with Otto. But it really does seem that physics was Lisa's first love, maybe even her passion. The 1920s and 30s were the golden age of nuclear research. The largest known nucleus at the time was that of the uranium atom, containing 238 protons and neutrons. Meitner and Hahn were leading the race to see if even bigger nuclei could be created by adding more neutrons.